Hey everybody and welcome to Northern Lion Tries Nova Drift. Nova Drift is, uh, as I understand it, you're witnessing my first moments in the game. I'm gonna tell you the story of how I discovered it, okay? I was searching through Steam for new releases to play. I thought, you know what, let's sort by user reviews. Saw this game I never heard of before called Nova Drift. Early access. 99% of the 843 reviews to this point are positive. It's pretty glowing recommendations. I search in my old Gmail inbox. There is a code for Nova Drift, thanks to Pixel Jam Games. So I am playing this with a review code. Um, I understand it that it is an action RPG slash roguelite version of Asteroids for the easiest explanation possible. Um, we're going to start with Learn, <laughs> which I guess in this case is... Uh, a tutorial in terms of text. That's my mistake, okay? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go game start. We're gonna go with endless, which I believe is the way that it's meant to be played. Wild metamorphosis. Oh, wild metamorphosis! A roguelite experience. Encounter strange and unpredictable mods. We'll worry about that once we get a little bit of, a little bit of our sea legs underneath us. You know what I mean? Endless seems fine with me. I feel like I'm having some issues with the controller here. Just give me a moment. I think perhaps... Oh, you know what? Maybe hit the start button. You know... I might not be that handsome. But in my defense, I'm also a little dumb. Hey, that's... <laughs> excuse me. That's what happens when you're uh, playing a game sight on scene. So I definitely see the asteroids influence, obviously. I actually feel like of the, um, like, classic arcade games of the 80s, whoop, Asteroids has actually aged really well because of the fact that it had simplistic vector-based graphics that, you know, they're not really timeless necessarily, but necessarily, I should say, but they, they still look pretty good in the modern era. They don't look super dated, like, you know, really, really low pixel count sprites. Yo, it's bumping. Um... And also, the simplistic gameplay is really nice, you know? It gives you a lot of... A lot of replayability. Okay, sorry. We have... An upgrade. Split shot. An array of bullets fan outwards. Projectiles create a cone-shaped burst on impact, dealing blast damage to other targets. Pulse. A powerful electromagnetic blast centered on you. Sounds a little dicey for me. Torrent. De deploy a close-range, widespread, rapid-fire lattice of energy. Give me the split shot. It does appear like we could re-roll. That re-rolled all of them. I would like to take it back. Grenade, flat cannon, railgun. You gotta go railgun. Whoa! Okay. Okay. So I, I'm also trying to figure out what's going on with the other... The two bars at the bottom of our screen. I'm assuming... One of them, by the way, wouldn't recommend taking the railgun unless you can aim. One of them looks like our shield and appears to be improving over time. Or potentially when we level up as well. Please get out of the way of that. Um, the other one I'm assuming is our HP. You do come out the other side of the screen. Fantastic. So I'm assuming when shield goes down, HP can also uh, go down from that point onwards. And then it seems like experience up at the top. So okay, I get it, you know. Starting out here, simplistic for sure. But simplicity is not a bad thing. You know what you call simplicity uh, when it's good? Elegance. Should not have gone into that. Let's see what's up now. Shield. Shields protect you from taking hull damage while they are active. They can refresh if they take no damage during the cooldown period. You want temporal? Targets and projectiles within the shield's effect radius are greatly slowed. When destroyed, the shield teleports you a distance equal to the shield effect radius. A searing hot ring burdens targets within its effect radius for 180 damage per second. You know what? Does seem interesting. Oh lord! I think I have made a terrible mistake. Yeah, just just fly straight into the mines. That was a really good start. Okay, so you know what? I don't believe that my initials should be entered on that one. Um, 
hit me with the game start endless again. Okay, now that we've got the very, very basics down, perhaps we can improve a little bit. I'm going to be honest, I don't think we should have gone with the railgun. It's not that I believe that the railgun is bad. But I believe that my badness makes it difficult for me to use the railgun effectively. How do you feel about that? Take our first upgrade. Grenade, flak, or split shot? Let's go with the split shot. See, this is the perfect weapon modification for me. As somebody that cannot reliably actually hit enemies. Hey, you get out of here, sir. As long as we're in the right area, this will function. Okay, so go pick up the experience. I definitely don't want to leave that behind. Honestly, this feels like... Um, I mean, I've, I've played about four minutes of it so far. It feels like... Um, a Puppy Games game. You guys remember uh, Puppy Games? They're still around. They're making Bassing Stoke right now, as far as I know. But for a while, their... Um, MO was making, like, neon... Classic... Atari arcade game inspired indie games. They made some tower defense games. They made a game that was like a Robotron. That's what this feels like right now. It's like an old formula with a modern sheen put on top of it. Reflects enemy weaponry with boosted power. Plus 900% damage to affected enemy weaponry. Plus 50% velocity. But what's the, what's the catch? There's got to be a catch. Maybe lower shield capacity or something. But I can get down with these games. Okay, and a new body as well. You activate cloaking when not firing. Blazing thrusters burn targets. Plus two limit to all basic constructs. Plus two limit to all standard constructs. What does this mean? I don't know. Let's find out. Hey, excuse me. If you'll excuse me, please. We have clearly lost some HP in the process. So this is where you're about to find out that perhaps I'm not as good at asteroids as I thought I was. But I will say, genuinely, you've seen Champions of Fire. I can handle uh, a classic inspired game. Choose a mod. Okay, let's, let's take a look one by one. We do have rerolls, but I don't want to use them unless we need them. Because we don't know what's good or not. Volley. Plus two weapon projectiles. Lower damage, but better spread. Okay. Adds or improves projectile targeting. I'm going to start. We're going targeting for now. Extra shield effect radius and power. Also unlocks other stuff for us in a tech tree on the right, it appears. Extra weapon speed and damage. 40% passive regen rate, plus 20% hull strength, plus 20% projectile size, extra damage, and weapon blast radius. Give me that. Give me the magnitude. I, I honestly thought at first we would be able to choose something from the bottom as well. That's my mistake. We're still going. You can also change your gear. Oh, so that's if you want to change one of your fundamental constructs. I understand. Um... Lower rate of fire, better damage. I don't want to trade off. I exclusively want positive upward momentum here, please. Extra blast radius from explosive weapons. Oh, and non-explosive weapons deal explosive damage. Interesting. This sounds interesting. Oh, but it takes our rate of fire. Yeah, let's just... I'm going to honestly start with the basic... The basic ones, like plus 20%. Shield durability seems incredibly useful right now. Wave 15. <laughs> Must be good. Yeah, this feels... It also reminds me a little bit of like... I, I really like... Um, small mechanics-driven games like this. You know what this reminds me of so far as well? Resogun, which if you're not familiar with it, was actually like the most critically acclaimed PlayStation 4 launch title. Very similar boat. It was a uh, run, please. Maybe we should try to ice this guy. Oh, you make snakes. Well, that's scary. Did the snakes ever stop? They do stop, but they don't disappear. Or they don't stop right away. They take some time to disappear. 
I've lost myself. Do you think perhaps I need to hit the other side of you? Because this does not appear to be getting the job. Oh, that's your HP bar at the top. I'm a fool. We're learning. We also earned a reroll. Okay. Non-stop positives. Yo. That seems good. Let's just go whole strength, though. I can't complain about whole strength. Everything seems to be going very well so far. That is not friendly. I thought that was like a big uh, point upgrade for us. That is not the case at all. It also reminds me of, uh, well, Geometry Wars, obviously. You're doing great, sweetie. Keep it up. Trying not to deflect things, but when a deflection's, you know, warranted, it seems appropriate. I do feel slightly overwhelmed by the amount of... Uh, the frequency of our level up, so I'll tell you that much. Okay, let's get weird. Assemble and deploy automated drones which orbit you and attack targets. Unlocks rocket drones and reinforced drones. Okay. X button. Deploy construct. D-pad left and right, select construct. Okay. I understand. So I have to pay attention to that. It comes off cooldown. Now and then. I bet there's a maximum amount we can have, but because we took the engineering upgrade, we can probably get... Uh, was three our maximum? Definitely not. Four appears to be our maximum. Okay. Good to know, though. Oh, yes. <laughs> Please give me drones that are also rockets. Oh, my God. We have more. We don't need we don't need other constructs. To be honest, I doubt we're going to be able to get that through my brain on the first play here. And then all explosive weapons get better. We're just we're, we're trying to keep it simple now. Keep me in the flow state. You know what I mean? So our drones now shoot rockets. Skirt. And we can make another one cuz one of ours died. Beautiful. Try to keep them safe whenever possible. One of ours died. Okay, I like this. Gradually introducing new mechanics that we're able to figure out. We're also on wave uh, 30, which must mean that I'm probably amongst the greatest players in Nova Drift history. We are obliterating all enemies within seconds of their spawn. And I am uh, unafraid. You know what? How could I say no to a tears upgrade? It's amazing. 15% seems so small, but then when you're in control of it, it, it feels like it might as well have doubled. This is really cool, actually. I'm always interested, you know, there's like... There's well-reviewed games on Steam that I have, uh, that I've played. Witcher 3, for example well-reviewed games on Steam that I have not played but have heard of, and I'm not sure they would be a fit for me. Something like Doki Doki Literature Club. Which I mean no disrespect to it. Okay, this is a boss. Um, this surely seems like you should attack into the ring to do more damage. Or maybe it, it actually looks like you're doing more damage when you destroy some of the elements. Like, there's discrete moments where you, you're gonna be a little bit more powerful here. Perhaps? I don't know. And then this was really, uh... Help. It interested me. Because it kind of existed in a... In a rare area. Which was games that, uh... Are very, very, very well reviewed that I've never heard of before. And I'm glad it's come to my attention. Because this sort of thing is my bag, baby. I feel like I am not hitting your weak points. That's one where you're going to want to move, sir. Drone hull strength is better. Look. I'm a very simple man, okay? If I knew what the things did and what was good and what was not good, I would take time to make decisions. As of right now, I do not know what's good and what's not good, so I don't think it really matters that much. <laughs> I'm just looking for things that have no negatives. Plus 20% blast radius. 
That'll do. You have a shield. But you're also very slow. Look, I can use my video game sense to recognize how we should interact with that. Yikes. Um, well, I gotta say, this is a huge improvement over my first uh, attempt. There's no doubt about that. Plus one drone construction limit. Sign me up, brother. Also, many of our drones have passed. Please get around the shield. Very well done. Very well done. So we should be able to have five drones now. I will say this is probably a little late, but it bears mentioning. You know, the second best time to mention something is right now. I have taken some hull damage. Don't take damage. You'll get your shield to return to you. Thank you. <laughs> um, if you have a photo sensitivity, now is probably a good time to cease your viewing experience. I'm liking this drone build. I do not want... Well, maybe... No. I don't think I want defense drones. Let's see what else we got. Again, exclusively positives, please. Sure. I will take greatly improved projectile targeting. Which I'm assuming is like a light home. It seems like it's a light home when it gets close to an enemy. It does compensate... Or it does... Uh, Take a little bit of our rate of fire as a result, but I think that's okay. We, you know, got a better rate of fire recently regardless. I mean, come on. You gotta be close to death. It seems like an acceptable trade-off. Assault drones. Prioritize enemies over hazards. Yes, please. Also gives us the ability to create one more drone. Stay on the move here. You're doing great. Run! <laughs> I told you I was good at asteroids. And you didn't believe me, dude. Gain a new drone formation and the ability to toggle between them. Pursuit or battalion. Plus 50% total rate of fire for drones in this formation. Hold on. Pursuit, abandon your side to hunt down enemies. Line up along your flanks and fire ahead of you? Sure. Let's, let's try that. So they get extra damage in this. Otherwise, I would probably, you know, rather keep them in rotation. But the damage bonus for keeping them in this formation definitely seems to be worth it. I hope. Also, I'm pretty sure... Sorry about that one, drone friends. Where am I? What's happening? You're back. <laughs> Plus two drone construction limit? I know where I'm going with this build. I believe there is no boss, but I might be wrong. I, like, my impression of this was that it's, uh... Endless, mostly because the mode was called Endless. We are on wave 60, which is, to me, just absurd. Seems like a very good time to get the heck out of the way. <laughs> Don't hurt my drones. Run, dude. I'm telling you, we are going to destroy this guy. Easily. You can't see me right now. I'm down in the bottom right corner. Singularity detected. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and suggest that... Probably would have benefited us not to get sucked into the singularity. But perhaps I was mistaken. Actually appears like it's going just fine, to be honest with you. I will press Y to upgrade. Enemies rupture when destroyed. I think plus 25% thrust. A little bit of a speed upgrade. It could get you into a, lur a, a little bit of trouble. It can get you into a little bit of trouble, but not enough to, to scare me off. 
It can also allow you to get out of a very dangerous situation, I believe. I will say, I'm still waiting. Should not have rammed you. I'm still waiting on an indie missile command. Don't get me wrong. Are you see okay, that the first dodges were good. That one was not. Of all the arcade games from that era, and to be honest, I might prefer Asteroids to Missile Command, but there's some value to both, okay? I'll tell you, my parents were big into arcade games. You know, they were teenagers in the 1980s. Um, so, I, well, the 70s and the 80s at least. So I think they got to experience, you know, kind of the golden age there. Um, one time for my birthday, they got me on the Game Boy. No, I don't really care about Pursuit, to be honest. Although it does unlock Fleet, so maybe we can go for it and just try it temporarily. That's not Pursuit. That's Pursuit! Alright, I gotta be honest. That does seem pretty sick. I guess we will be traveling through the Singularity. <laughs> Look, as long as my drones follow me, I'm a happy man. It did take them a little while to get there from off-screen. I, I am not the kind to complain about having gotten a video game for my birthday, just for the record. It makes you seem like a fool. However... I'm not convinced of the, the Ludo narrative... Wait, that's not the right word. I'm not convinced of the, of the, the merit of the game known as Joust any longer. I think Joust is one that we could safely leave back in the 1980s without, uh, you know, losing too much artistic legacy. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Joust is beloved and I'm going to sound like a fool. I don't really want mines. Ex better shield? Yes, please. I mean, surely there's never been a score better than this committed to this game. It's kind of spectacular. I mean, we've barely even been hurt on top of everything else. Go ahead and hit me. I'll just reflect it. Asteroids, Missile Command, Donkey Kong. I also, I, I'm going to tell you, I let me out. I personally think Donkey Kong is kind of a stinker. No! That's what I get for besmirching the name of Donkey Kong. <laughs> that still seemed pretty good. Look at what we unlocked. We unlocked like seven things in a single game. Persist. As you unlock mods and gear, you will gain access to powerful specialized build options as well as additional rerolls. I'll take an RYA on that one. Thank you. We beat our previous score by a factor of 100. I think we should give them one more. Test out what else we got here. But what, what's going on with the uh, wild metamorphosis mode? A roguelite experience. Encounter strange and unpredictable mods. Starting rerolls are halved. And then you have, uh, like, mutation options. Waves advance faster and enemies enter the fray more frequently. Endless wild metamorphosis. It does give you a score bonus as well. Okay, you don't need to tell me. I know how to rotate. I'm just not sure I'm going to be any good anymore. Because I have to shoot instead of just merely flying around and letting my drones accomplish it all. <laughs> this seems really cool, though. I am not surprised. Salvo. Deploy a barrage of wild heat-seeking missiles. And when you're not firing... You get more missiles to fire. You see that number going up? Yo! <laughs> Alright. Uh, dude, Reflect seemed really good, honestly. I think I'm... I think I'm gonna go there. And Body? Let's fi oh, Firefly Assault. Assault is just more damage. I did like the drone build, but I think this is okay as well. And then we get some upgrades, too. Um... So we're going, you know, let's get whole strength just to keep us alive here. Okay, so for now we're just going to do a lot of standing still. 
It seems like a very easy game to like. You know, it's it's not going to overwhelm anybody with mechanics. Uh, and I mean that in a positive way, to be honest with you. It's a very likable, accessible game. It's very easy to see the appeal. So I have a new strat for the time being. It involves charging up as many homing missiles as possible. And then turning slightly when I shoot in order to hit all related enemies at the same time. We might have to be a little bit more proactive in our approach starting soon. Once there's more enemies, it might not be suitable. But I gotta tell you, the damage seems very solid right now. Just try to avoid the asteroids. I saw ya. I'm a doctor too. I think I'm overdoing it. Even just charging up like 20 missiles seems to get the job done. Okay, another level up. Improved targeting? Dude, honestly, the drones are pretty sick. Oh, an advanced autonomous ally? Sure. Hello, my allied friend. I believe I can only have one of you at a time because I am not the engineering class. We could always, I guess we could swap our body in, to become the engineering class later in the run if we feel like, uh, you know, that would be warranted. For now, I like what we got going on. He can take care of the riffraff. While we store missiles for later use. As in that situation right there. To figure out, hold on, give me a second. Is that knocking at my door or are those space mines exploding? <laughs> those were space mines exploding. Dude, that scared the crap out of me. Look at the stats we can see here too. It sounded so much like my front door. Your ally regenerates its hull strength. Your ally focuses fire on the last target you damaged. Okay, fine. No, no, no. Make my shield better. Look, I'm, I don't respect the ally that much yet. I think it's still too early to be that impressed with him, you know? Once I get him upgraded a little bit, and he's proven he's a capable companion for us, we'll, we'll see about that. I don't really want drones. I'm okay with my existing setup in that department, if that makes sense. Should. Rapid fire seems fantastic. Although, actually, now that I think about it, does rapid fire actually matter that much? Unless it affects our rate of missile regeneration? And it may not. Please make my ally stronger. It does unlock the next tier, so let's go for that. I mean, for now, we are... It seems not in a very dangerous position. Global damage increases as your speed does. Just give me better targeting. Better targeting equals more damage. Your ally gets much better per your level. Yo, that's what I'm looking for. It's like a Brother Bobby that scales. That's an Isaac reference. For the, If anybody's watching this, they're not familiar with the game The Binding of Isaac. That would be a first, but... Let's see what we got. Your ally is transformed into an interceptor. Better speed, better damage. At some point, I'm going to have to focus on me instead of just focusing on him. But the next thing I want, if possible... is 1,000% having a second ally. I don't mean to treat him as if, uh, you know, one is not enough. But two allies are better than one, I think, in this case. Like, look at this. I don't even need to shoot, dude. I can just keep storing up hundreds and hundreds of tiny missiles while he does my job for me. Did he despawn? I.e., when I say despawn, what I really mean is 
he probably took enough damage uh, to, to die. <laughs> okay, let's make him even better. He attempts to dodge enemy attacks. You know what? This seems like a very prudent time for that to, uh, to be available to us. Looks like we're going to have to tough this one out for ourselves for the time being. That's okay. I'm, I'm more than capable of dodging. <laughs> Not that capable of, of landing shots, apparently. Look at this. Okay, he's back. Instead of advancing, your interceptor stays at a distance from your target. Whatever. Those shots seem tough to dodge. I'm just going to level with you. Those ones don't. Okay, wave 36. Where were we last? We died on probably like prior to wave 70. Wonder how much experience I've just left adrift in the Nova. It sounds so much like my door knocking. Okay. You got 100 missiles. Let them fly. Try not to get hit yourself. Much better. Okay. Your ally regenerates. Absolutely. At this point, I feel like it is maybe comical. Maybe I should stop exclusively focusing on my ally, who is clearly uh, not really accomplishing all that much against this boss. No offense meant. Also, tunnel visioning, when I would like him to perhaps shoot at the, uh, the ads. Here's my thinking. While vulnerable, shoot 70 missiles. Run. Still going okay. Not a great move. But shield's still going strong. Vulnerability detected. Yo! Who did that? I don't really have control over where I target, so I'd really like you to stop shooting the outer ring if possible. Yikes. Yeah, just spend your whole life inside of the beam. That seems like it'll do good work for you. Thank you. Shield, return, please. Shield's back. Okay. Lost hull strength. Got to think uh, non-Euclidean fashion for this part. Send them down. Space folds in on itself. Everybody knows that. Watch a YouTube video sometime, sweetheart. Now, please. I did land some shots at the weak point. I gotta tell you. I feel like my build was not built for this boss. I feel like I... If I could turn back time... I would not leave myself in a position where I had to do this incredible feat of skill. I regret everything! Yeah, just fly right into it. That'll work. So, despite me saying that was a stupid idea, I'm gonna go do the exact same thing in just a second when my shield returns and when his projectiles dismiss. We're going to fly into the middle there. And we're just going to unload. Let me out. Dude, honestly, that'll work. The ally is not helpful here. The real ally is the human mind. That was sick. <laughs> hmm. What could we use? Good question. Maybe a reroll. Plus two weapon projectiles? That doesn't seem that useful right now. I think blast radius makes a lot of sense. We do have explosive weapons. Dude, our ally has been getting his butt kicked, huh? That's not going to work out too well for us. Considering we invested literally everything into making him better. Um, I do like this, actually. Every time you kill an enemy, you get stacks that deplete. But once you're... Every, every stack raises your offensive capability. I don't know if I'm a memento-based combo lord, but I'm at least going to do my, 
Oh, I'm gonna do my all. This guy's no problem. He dodged. He dodged the shot. I saw it happen. I don't think I want to go toe to toe there. I was shooting in entirely the wrong direction, and I apologize to my ally first and foremost. Are you dead? You're not dead. You've, you've merely transformed. I am standing still and hoping for the best. It's not over. It's still not over. It's over. Thank you. I needed that. Dude, oh, your interceptor fires your weapon in addition to your own? Or in addition to its own, I should say? So my man's gonna be firing homing missiles. In addition to his normal bag of tricks. This game's got great synergies. I mean, just the sheer number of upgrades seems really i mean a overwhelming but all, also really cool like we obviously we've seen duplicates but that's mostly because you get a choice of like nine different upgrades every single time you upgrade um also see recursive mods extra damage and projectile size slightly lower rate of fire lower weapon velocity but it can be taken multiple times So you could get incredibly sh uh, slow, incredibly strong shots. Very interesting. I have no idea what's happening. I don't know why I'm glowing. I'm not sweating it too much for the time being. All I'm sweating is trying to beat that dastardly Raya's score. He thinks he's so cool. Putting up a 45,000 spot. Let me tell you something. He is cool. He's just about the coolest dude I know. Yeah, you know what? If you would just like to raise my blast radius, that seems acceptable. Don't try to hit me. I recognize, by the way, there are times where you can't see my ship because I put it under the camera. It's just the way she goes. Okay, please, ally, you're doing great work. Keep doing so, so I may create myriad missiles. I have over a hundred. Okay. You can crash into one shot deliberately. If you crash into the same shot multiple times, all is lost. Yo, don't hit me with your rear rockets. That's Malf's move. Okay, careful. This is a boss. Shouldn't be there. Shouldn't be there. Take it back around the back side here. Shouldn't be there. Okay. Ally, keep it up. You're doing great. I endeavored... I'd rather not, honestly. But hold on. If I could stay out of the singularity, we could generate so many missiles, dude. We could generate more missiles than you could ever possibly understand. You're doing great. Not a good time to crash into him. Don't hit me with a newfangled plasma beam. The likes of which I've never seen before. You know how rude that is? You can't see me, dude. I'm in the corner. It's very simple. Ally, still crushing it. You've created another black hole. I'm in. And the whole time I'm in, I'm generating missiles. My shield is in a horrible place, though. We leveled up. Oh, my God. Plus two drone construction limit. I was just honestly 
I thought I could generate... Um, oh, the drone's auto-construct. I thought I could generate another ally by doing that. I stood in the path for so long there. That was an embarrassing way to take damage. You're gonna let Raya get the high score? Okay, you're doing great. You made it through what I believe to be the tough part temporarily here. Everything's going hunky-dory. Now I know it. We haven't even talked about like, how are you feeling about the game. It's because it should be... Relatively obvious. Uh, when you... Oh, yes. When you don't hear me talking about the game too much, it's a universally great sign. I'm having a lot of fun. The fact that we're 40 minutes in here is very surprising to me. I'm not going to say it's felt like five minutes. I have a better grasp of the temporal than that. But uh, certainly it has not felt like, you know, we're closing in on like, you know, three quarters of an hour. Run. Run. That went pretty well. So I think, you know, Nova Drift, I get it. And I'm having a great time with this so far. Seems very cool. I'm always down, I know we've checked out a lot of roguelites already, but I'm always down to check out a new roguelite, especially one that isn't a top-down dungeon crawler. I know that might sound a little dismissive, but... Anytime they're doing something new with the formula, I like to be there. Another singularity, huh? I died? <laughs> I think I hit a missile. All right. Anyway, that's Nova Drift. It seems really cool. Go check it out on Steam. The link is in the video description below. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!